um, we're doing an empties, we're filling it on my computer very awkwardly in the hall because this has good lighting and the computer lets me see that it's recording. So, yes. Very full empties bin. It just got full like a day or two ago, so we only had to film one this month instead of filming like three. So I'm just going to dig into this because this is probably going to take a minute. Sorry. If you had a penny for every pixel in this video, you could probably buy half a gallon of gas. Really? You think you could buy that much? Okay, so the first thing in here is the Sour Patch Watermelon candy things. My stepdaughter got me stuck on these, and they're awesome, so I had to mention them because I've already got another package, and I don't usually like sour things. These are really, really good, especially if you like watermelon. They taste kind of like watermelon Jolly Ranchers, kind of. They're really good. Okay, this is the Everyone Soap um, in Lavender and Aloe. It's supposed to be shampoo, body wash, and bubble bath. I got this for free when a grocery store opened here. I used half of it for bubble bath and then I decided to try it as soap and I used the second half of soap. And it's actually a really nice soap. It's a really big bottle too. Um, I did really like this. What did you think about this, Alex? It worked good as a body scrub, everything else. It was pretty piss poor, <laughs> honestly. Language. Oh. Uh, whoops. It sucked at everything other than being a body wash. I thought it was a really good bubble bath. It made lots of bubbles. We didn't use it for anything other than those things. But um, was this something you would buy? I guess. I might buy it, but it's not something that's like I have to go get it. You know. And the price. Um. Oh, look at the cat. Mm-hmm. That's adorable. He's so tubby. This is from the winter collection of the Glade. The Glade winter collection. It's their plugins. It's this is the plum blossom shimmering wonder one. I wasn't sure if I would like this one, but it ended up being really nice. Um, I was just using these in the bathroom, but I got another warmer for the kitchen because we have a cat box and a garbage disposal. But yeah, I like this a lot more than I expected to. What do you think of these? Shimmering wonder. That's funny. That's this, awesome. They smell alright. Will you get this again? This scent? If you look, if you want. Yeah, if they had this again the next time I need it, I might get it, but, um, sorry if the camera's moving, our cat is trying to be first of all, and space. Yeah, he was, like, huge on the side of it. But these are seasonal. That's that. I got these, um, Sephora, I don't even know what they're called, Purely Pure Organic, organic Cotton Facial Pads. Organic. They're, they're like the Sephora brand of the Shiseido ones as far as I understand it. These were nice. I mean they are nice. They're fancy. But they're really delicate and I'm not a delicate kind of person. And they like they soak up. I use them for micellar water to take off my makeup. They soak up the micellar water so much that there's excess that like just drips off it. Even though I only put the normal amount that I put on a cotton round on it. And they're just they're so delicate. Like, if I pick one up, it almost, it doesn't have any sewn down edges, so it, like, you have to pick it up really gently, otherwise it'll pull in two. And when I'm using it, I'm afraid it's gonna, it doesn't, and they do hold up, but I'm always afraid it's gonna fall apart, because I'm not gentle. <laughs> I'm just not. So, I wouldn't buy these again, because they're just, they're like, I feel like I'm going to break them, and I don't want to feel like that when I'm just trying to take off my makeup. I mean, they are nice, they're just not for me. Not for me. Okay, this is just the Equate, which is Walmart brand, compared to Cutex non acetone nail polish remover. I always get the pink one, whatever brand I end up getting it. I just end up getting it wherever. Um, like I said, I always get this kind. I need to get some more nail polish remover. Uh, it won't necessarily be Equate. So. Um, this is one of our supplements. This is the Jaro Formulas Bone Up. It's a calcium supplement. This is one of the best supplements for the amount of calcium that's actually absorbed into your system. Um, part of that is because of the way these are done. They have magnesium in them and they're made from 
bone powder, so they yeah. absorb more thoroughly into your they're system. They're made from bone powder, so they absorb better. Um, and there's a certain amount of magnesium in them, which helps with further absorption. We've talked about this several times. They are definitely not vegetarian or vegan, and like Alex was saying, they do have a very high amount of magnesium. Magnesium helps you to absorb calcium, so these are great. Definitely recommend these. You do have to take a lot of them in a day, though, but... Six. They're totally worth it. We get these from my dad. He's a chiropractor. He sells them in his office. But I've also seen them at our local health food grocery store that has a lot of vitamins. What? I do read, like, how much my magnesium. We had a backup that we've already opened, and dad just brought us two more vials. That's something we always have in our supplements. Calcium. Elemental. <laughs> oh. Are they going to come out and, like, throw stuff at me? Something... It's not a supplement, it's, uh, it's just a bottle of ibuprofen. We always have ibuprofen around, we go through it a lot between headaches and migraines. Might and as well be a daily supplement. Everything, yeah. My knee. We should not take it as much as we do, but we do, so that's that. I have two boxes of Pot Pockets. These are technically Lean Pockets, they're garlic, chicken, white pizza. These ones are really, really good. I've been, um, I've loved these for years. Um, Don't mind the bag noise. The kitten's trying to mess with the cat, and that's not working. These I've never seen before. I've only ever seen pizza or pepperoni pizza ones, but these are four cheese pizza hot pockets. And these are freaking amazing and delicious, and I totally want to buy some of these again next time I go to the grocery store. Okay, this is my Wet n Wild mattifying powder. It's their Take on the Day mattifying powder, and Matt about you. Um, it's a translucent powder. This is like my favorite translucent powder off the top of my head. The only thing I don't like is that there's not very much in it. Um, I've already got another one of these and I do scrape out the powder off the edges and use it as a loose powder. But I absolutely love that. I don't think you have any thoughts on that, do you dear? It makes you happy. Here's one for you to talk about. This is a fortune cookie soap uh, sample of the In The Loop soap. This is that one that smelled like Fruit Loops. What did you think of that? It didn't when you were using it, but whenever you smelled the bar, it did. Performance-wise, slightly better than hotel soap, I guess. Would you have me buy a full size of that? Hi. Knocking everything over you. Sorry, cat owner problems. Is that something you would have me buy a full size of, dear? No. Okay. I don't know if you had anything else to say about it. Um. Ah, that's my foot. Cat parent problems. These are Ninja Turtles Band-Aids. I wish I could use these, but they have latex in them, and I'm allergic, and they do make me kind of break out. But they were really cool looking. They had some really good designs. Alex used these. Um, I got these for him. What did you think of these? They were Band-Aids. Would you have me buy these again? Not specifically, no. Okay. We have some other band-aids, so we don't really need to buy band-aids at the moment. I broke um, a plate and scratched my finger, so she put, like, a bunch of band-aids all over the place, because I also scratched my arm in multiple places, and my head. I got finished off that box. This is Wax Melts. Um, these are the Better Homes and Gardens Tropical Pina Colada ones. I really like these. I think I would get these again. What do you think of them? I don't remember them this moment, so. I think I would get these again. I really, really like this one. Um, why, did, why are you grabbing stuff out of the empties? Because you're slow and I want to be done because my this back is, is the painful. My back is hurting too. I don't want to hear. This is Bath & Body Works Vanilla Teeny Shower Gel. This is the last one I had in this older packaging style. Um, it smells amazing until you use it. Yeah, this smelled good in the bottle, but I don't know if it was our body chemistry or what, but whenever we used it as a shower gel, it smelled really weird. So we probably only used like this much of it as a shower gel, and then I decided to use the rest of it up as a bubble bath because we weren't going to use it as a shower gel because it smelled weird on us, so we wouldn't buy that scent again. More ibuprofen. Really? We went through two bottles this month? Oh, my knee. Oh, yeah. He hurt his knee somehow. 
Um, these are samples. Somehow, um, it was from Kung Fu. It was from Kung Fu. I wasn't sure if that was what did it. I used these together. So L'Oreal. This one is the Smooth Intense Ultimate Straight Precondition. Um, I wouldn't buy this because I don't really get the point of this. I mean, these together did make my hair feel soft. Uh, they did not make my hair straight. So that's that. And then this is the Smooth Intense Ultimate Straight Straightening Conditioner. I mean, it didn't make my hair straight. But they were nice, I guess. If I had a coupon, I would get them. But I don't need to make it a point to get them. They're just kind of like, eh. Um, this is another wax melt. This is the Better Homes and Gardens Spiced Pumpkin Pie. This is a limited edition one. I love this one. This one was so good. I thought she was baking cookies when I came home. Yeah, I had I it going... I was right in the middle of a ketogenic diet, and I wanted to burn her because I was going through that period when you're about to hit ketosis and your body is screaming for carbs and sugars and all that fun stuff. I burn these up. They're not so potent they throw you out of the room, but I burn these upstairs. I melted them upstairs. I melted them upstairs. You could smell them upstairs, all the way down the stairs, through the hallway, and all the way down to the door. Like, they smelled almost the entire apartment. I would totally get these again. Would you behave? No, I'm bored. If you don't behave, I'm gonna go really slow and make you sit here longer. Oh, I, I would to go really fast. If you keep interrupting me, we're never gonna get done. I would totally buy these again, but I already have a backup thanks to my mom who got some on clearance after fall last year. Would you stop? Yeah. Who bought you makeup yesterday? Who is being horrendously annoying today and it's going to take me over tomorrow to make up for it? Well, I already promised I was going to. This came from my Walmart beauty box. It's the Vaseline Intensive Care Advanced Repair Unscented Lotion had samples of this before. It's a fine lotion, but it smells like lotion, which isn't really my thing, so I wouldn't really buy it, but it was fine to use. Do you have any thoughts on this? I wish we would have been able to use that on the dog's nose. It's lotion. You don't put lotion on a dog's nose. It just has tiny little driblets of vaccine in it. Oh. Uh, dog chewed on one of her rawhide bones and got it coated in the stuff, so I peeled it off and her nose is really, really dry. So we had to put moisturizer on her nose quite a bit. We've been putting chapstick on her nose. Um, these are just no-name brand baby wipes. We always keep baby wipes around for like getting makeup off fingers and stuff like that. I would not buy these particular ones again because they have a stupid sticker that it never, closed. never closes and it doesn't, um, that dries out. But. I have some baby wipes from Target right now that we're using. Luckily, the rate we went through them, they didn't really have a lot of time to dry out, but this. The, the principle was so I'm so glad this is done. This is the Shiny Happy People Spray Shine. It was one of those free beauty brands things I got in high school. Now, I will say this is really nice to keep your hair from being staticky in the winter, but if you already have oily hair and you're trying to use something like this up and you're doing it every day, you're basically just spraying oil all over your hair, and it makes your hair greasy so much faster. This is a nice product, it's just not for me. I would not buy this. This I got in my Walmart box, I think. Uh, this is the L'Oreal Age Perfect Cell Renewal Golden Serum. It was fine, it seemed nice for a serum. I liked it. I actually actively liked it instead of indifferently liked it like I do with most serums. But serums aren't really something I keep around, so I don't need to get that. Um, more ibuprofen. We use a little foil packet of the Advil liquid gels. Uh, do we need to buy ibuprofen? I should put that on the grocery list. Um, these are the Up and Up, which is Target brand, five blade razors compared to Venus Embrace. These came in a Target beauty box that I won in a giveaway. So that's what that looks like. Um, these, normally I'm just like, eh, with razors. I prefer them to have a lot of blades, but other than that, I'm like, eh. These I did not like, which I've never had that issue with razors. They, like, scratched, and they tugged on the little hairs. And they were worse for, like, coarser hairs, like my armpits. But they even did it on my legs, which is really fine hair. So I wouldn't buy these. I would not like that. 
Did you have any thoughts on those? These are the Nice, which is Walgreens brand almonds, cocoa dusted. I've had these for a while. They're really, really good. Um, I didn't finish them off before they expired, so I gave the rest of them to the rats who love them as well. But these are great. I definitely recommend these. They're a delicious snack. I don't need to get any right now because I'm not really in the mood for them, and I just won't eat them. These are a new-ish discovery. These are the Up and Up brand. Um, light floral scent cleansing wipes compared to Summer's Eve cleansing cloths. They're pretty inexpensive, and they're handy to have around, and they work on guys too, so I would totally buy those again. Oh, do you have any thoughts on those? Mm. The Summer's Eve wipes that we got, Target brand. No. Okay, wake up. This stuff's about to be yours. Mm -hmm. Alex got a sample of the Bosho Luminizing Black Mask from Sephora. Um, so they gave him two little pots. He used one, I used one. Cats! The kitten's knocking over the big cat now. That's pretty impressive. Do you have, what do you have to say about this? Too sticky, very difficult to get off. Made my skin feel pretty good. I still prefer the, uh, honey, balm or whatever. Yeah, I didn't like this either. It was painful to get off. Um, like, if Alex is having problems with it, that's one thing. I, I mean, that's bad enough. But being a zebra with thin skin. Shut up, both of you! Who literally has scars on her arm from kinesio tape that stuck too tight. Not recommended for zebras and not a fan in general. Would not buy. I think your kitten's about to die. Uh, these are the Sephora soft touch cotton pads. They're basically cotton rounds. I just get cotton rounds wherever. Um, I would get these again because I have flash shipping so they're free to ship straight to my house and I don't have to leave the house and go to Ulta. But I think this time I'm going to get some from Ulta because Alex said he would take me over there. Wait, flash shipping from who? Sephora. You said Ulta the first time and then you said Ulta again. Uh, uh, it's been a really and long day. And we have day. video proof. It's been a long day with like no sleep, no naps, getting up early, and family. So, um, this came in my Walmart box as well. It's the Village Naturals Therapy Aches and Pains Muscle Relief Concentrated Mineral Bath Soak. Alex used this. I drew him a bath with this after he had worked out really hard or something. What did you think of this? I love bath time. I didn't notice anything from that. However, our bathtub is so short that I sit down and, uh, and it's already draining from the other hole. It might just be because I'm fat, but you're I don't know. You're not fat. You're just well-muscled. Well, I mean, you're slightly tubby on your stomach. I have a big butt, too. But that is not enough to make that happen. It's because you have big muscles. So, is this something you would buy? No, probably not. No, okay. not mine. Um, this is awesome. I actually need to pick some of this up tomorrow when we're at Ulta. This is the... What? I have to squeeze it. Don't squeeze it. This is a Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. This is the one with the pink top. I love this one. I'm currently using the one with the blue top and I don't like it. But I love this one with the pink top. It was my first, the first time I'd ever tried Micellar Water and I love this. This stuff's great. I totally need to buy some more of that. Okay. These are another discovery. These are the Follow Your Heart Smoked Gouda Style Slices. These are like dairy-free, vegan, whatever. Um, Alex's favorite real cheese is Gouda, and he tried these, and he really liked them. We've already gotten another package. These are really, really good. I totally recommend these. Uh, if you're vegan, if you just can't handle dairy, your stomach can't handle it, or, I mean, even, either way, just to eat, they're really good. What do you think of these? They were pretty good, especially for being a vegan slump. <sighs> he was eating them of his own volition without me, like, saying, hey, you should try this. So I say that gives it pretty high points. Um, Most vegan food, it's like, you know, you could make stir-fry with no eggs or, or animal products of some kind. You know, I've seen it done. No, it usually, at least in this town involves some sort of imitation of meat or cheese, and it's usually nasty. Just learn to cook. I've got four of these dermal sheet masks. I have a white one, and 
aloe one, uh, platinum one, a pearl one, and a seaweed one. I get these in our local uh, Korean grocery store. They're nice. Um, my skin doesn't really have problems, but they definitely do sheet mask things. They're moisturizing. They're nice. I would consider getting them again. I just don't need to right now because I have a whole drawer full of sheet masks. Masks, excuse me. I also use this Glam Glow Dream Duo Overnight Transforming Treatment. I get two uses out of this. Um, this was nice. It did make my skin feel nice, but it's just not something I need to get. And I'm not a big fan of overnight stuff like that. Hey. Speaking of which, I'm going to get all of these out of the way because I'm sure Alex would love to complain about a couple of them. Um, this is the Estee Edit Pink Peony Overnight Water Pack. It's an overnight mask. It was fine. I don't like overnight masks. You didn't have to use this Overnight one. masks are, are such a bad idea. All it is is really thick lotion. These are the Body Shop Drops of Youth, Youth Bouncy Sleeping Mask. I had two samples of this, so we both did it. This made my face stick to my pillow, and it's an overnight mask, so I wasn't a big fan. What did you think of this one? Woke up, and it felt like my face was covered in honey. I had to rub it a couple of minutes in order for it to feel better. Having it applied was just awful. Felt like I was getting petroleum jelly wiped all over my face. And it didn't even do anything. This is the Waste Sephora Lingzi Sleeping Mask. Um, it's one of those little pot things. This was a freebie from Sephora. It came in that mystery bag I got. This was the first sleeping mask we used, and we split it because there was enough for two uses. And I don't think either one of us liked it. We both determined we don't like sleeping masks, period, and would never buy them. Uh, do you have anything else to say about this particular one? No. Okay. I also used this fresh vitamin nectar vibrancy boosting face mask. This was fine. It was kind of weird because it was like chunky with seeds in it. It felt like I was wearing jam on my face. Like, not jelly, like jam. So that was kind of weird. I mean, it was fine. It wasn't anything that special, so I don't need to buy it. Um, this is the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. I did remember to clothespin this closed, although even doing that, I did lose some of it because it dried out, but I got a lot more use out of it. Um, I like this. I would buy it. I have a deluxe size sample right now that came in a kit out so I don't need to right now. Um, I have two of these L'Oreal Color Vibrancy Nourishing Conditioners. These little samples come in my hair dye sometimes. These are fine. I don't... I like my Pantene 3-Minute Miracle Conditioner, so I wouldn't really buy these. Um, here's one for you, husband. This is the Fortune Cookie Soap Bar Soap Sample in Cotton Candy. What did you think of this one? For all the fortune cookie soaps, most of them smell pretty good. But the novelty of the shape makes them difficult to apply. I don't like them. And I hope you don't order any more ever, unless they're in bar form. No, these aren't fortune cookie shaped. These are bars of soap by oh. fortune cookie soap company. They smell really nice. They function adequately. I still wouldn't want you to bow buy any. Okay, we've only got a few things left. Here's a couple for you to talk about. Alex finished off two deodorants. This one was his from Seattle. It's the Speedstick Power Ultimate Sport deodorant. Oh, ow! Ah, let's never do this again. Sorry, you guys. What did you think of this? I used it for a long time, so obviously I liked it. Would you buy it again? Probably. Okay. This is the Gillette Clinical Sport Triumph Advanced Solid Deodorant. I prefer this one. Okay. Do you have any other thoughts about this? They kept me from stinking. That's all that matters. Would you buy it again? Yes, obviously. Alright. I said I would. I liked that one more and I said I would buy the other one. Right? Oh, quit being such a monkey butt. These are the Lint Lindor Pumpkin Spice Milk Chocolate Truffles. These were good, but they were mostly good because they were Lindor Truffles. the Pope. Oh, it's a chef. But they were mostly good because they were Lindor Truffles. Stop interrupting me. I don't interrupt you. They were mostly good because they are Lindor Truffles, not because of the pumpkin spice. So I probably wouldn't get these again. I mean, I might, but... I love you. Uh-huh. This is the Naked Skin One and Done Light Foundation in the color Light. I liked this. I liked the formula of this. But... 
unless they expand the shade range, I wouldn't buy it because this was the lightest shade and it was too dark for me. Like, I could use it, but it looked kind of weird. So I wouldn't buy that, sadly. It's like suntan, like fake suntan. This is the Better Homes and Gardens A Thankful Harvest Wax Melt. These were good. I like them. I would be happy to get them again, but um, they're not my favorite, like, pumpkin spicy one. So it's not something I have to make it a point to get, you know? I just, I would be happy if I had them again. Oh, this is a mess. This is a Q Shower Quality by Choice Hotels Face and Body Bar Little Hotel Soap. Um, I found a use for these that doesn't annoy Alex. I've been using them to clean my makeup brushes. And it works really well for that. So, I mean, it's not something that if I knew what it was, I would seek out and buy, but it's a great way to use these things up. Um, I have a Hue Shower Quality by Choice Hotels Conditioner. This is okay, but it's, like I said, I like my Pantene, so even if I knew what that was, I wouldn't get it. This is the Body Shop Banana Shampoo. This was nice. It was mildly drying on my hair. But just enough that I thought it might be, but not enough that I could really pinpoint that it was. I might get it again if it was on sale again, but I don't need to make it a point to. It was just okay. Um, only a few things left. I apparently went through a lot of perfume this month. So, let's get through that. This is the Citrine by Nest Fine Fragrances perfume. Or, Nest Fine Fragrances perfume and Citrine, whatever. It was okay, it was fine. Um... But I don't need to buy it. Let's see if I can get it to... I don't think Alex even remembers that one. This is the Lady Gaga Fame perfume sample. I love this one and I already have a full size of it. So I don't need to buy it because I already have a full size. This is um, the Body Shop Cassis Rose perfume. I got this for Christmas years and years ago. And I finally used it up. Um, it was nice. Yeah. It was just not something I would buy for myself, you know? What did you think of this? Not your personality. And then the last one is this Boss, Hugo Boss, the Scent Perfume. Um, I think this is actually a cologne for guys, but I used it because I don't care. I mean, it smelled nice. It kind of smelled like Abercrombie. It's not something I would buy for myself to wear. What did you think of it? Too strong. And I will say I am thoroughly jealous about mm -hmm. how much more po- We're almost done. My butt is asleep. Well, so is mine, but we're almost done. About how much more potent colognes are than perfumes. Um, this is the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product sample. I'm working on another one of these right now. I like this a lot. Um, I don't really need any leave-in conditioners, but if I- When I do, I will definitely keep these in mind. Um... This is, I call it a squisher. It's broken, that's why it's in my empties. I get these at Walmart in the toothpaste style. They're meant to like squish down your toothpaste, but I use them for like little samples of miniature tubes and stuff. They're great for everything. I love these. Just what is that? I definitely recommend these. Um, this is the Burt's Bees Naturally Nourishing Milk and Honey Body Lotion. This came in my Walmart box. It was fine, but it's not, my, it's not a bad scent. It's just not something that I'm like, I have to buy it. It was a nice lotion, though. I just don't need to get this. What'd you think of this? I don't remember which one that is. That's okay. Okay. Most of your, it, the only one I don't like so far is this big pumpkin spice one you've got right now. It because delicious. Because my hands smell like it for days. This is the Aquafresh <sighs> Extreme Clean Toothpaste. This is a sample. This was... I mean, this tasted nasty, but most... Grown-up toothpaste tastes nasty to me, so I didn't really care. It seemed to work fine, but it wasn't anything special that I have to get. What did you think of this? It was adequate. You hated the taste, though. He complained about the taste, and he likes the taste of regular grown-up toothpaste. Aquafresh is the waist. This is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion Foundation Sample. I really like the formula of this and how it worked and everything. I will say I only used it once because this is W3. It is ridiculously too dark for me. But I totally want to buy my correct shade in this. Okay, what else have we got? Okay, this is the Tarte Tartist. It is not Tartiste. It is not Tartiest or any of that crap. 
that I keep hearing people say, and I'm sorry, I know I'm being annoying, pain in the rear, but it's TARDISK. It's like artist with a T. Drives me nuts. Sorry, English major problems. Rant over. This is a Tarte Tardis Lash Paint Mascara. Um, this is a nice mascara. There might even be some left in here. The wand looks like this. But as you can see, it's one of these kinds that you just yank it out. You don't twist it, so it becomes really messy and disgusting, so I tossed it. This came in a lash dash from Sephora, and I used the coupon from that to actually buy a full size of this, which I look forward to trying. Speaking of full sizes, this is one of my favorite um, mascaras ever. It's the Urban Decay Perversion. Alex loves this one as well. Um, the wand looks like this. And I will totally repurchase this, but I have like a deluxe size sample that I wanted to give away that I'm going to use up before I buy more. But I love this. This stuff is freaking amazing. We both have pretty decent lashes already, and this stuff makes our lashes look great. So totally recommend this. And that's all of our empties. We'll see you guys next time. My butt. I'm surprised we got this done in 30 minutes with all of that stuff. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Mm.